What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hut Hero Franchise Mode with the Vancouver Canucks and Trevor Linden. Yep, we're back. And basically, here's the team we're going to roll with. We're going to get some massive simulation done. Jeff Skinner, Trevor Linden, Needle Niederreiter, Brandon Gallagher, Jack Eichel, Tanner Pearson, Dwight King, Riley Shahan, Justin Williams, Kyle Clifford, Mark Latestu, and Michael Latta. Uh, Shane Gostafir, Aaron Ekblad, Sammy Vatnin, Brian Campbell, uh, Fedor Tutin, and Michael Mac Michael Matheson. So, anyways, here's the, here's the basics. Pretty decent team, I do believe so. And then we have Matt Murray in the crease with uh, Kadobin as our backup goalie. Pretty decent backup goalie right there. He's on for two years. Yes, he has two more years of Kadobin. And then we have the all-star Danny Heatley. Just there for cap reasons that make it so we can send up and send down players when we have to, as we please. Thanks, Danny Heatley, basically. That's just a thanks to Danny Heatley. AHL team, Michael Dow Cole, uh, Jay Beagle, Josh Ho saying Nikita Sherback, uh, Quentin Howden, uh, Egini Snechnikov, Ty Ratty, Matt Colin, Alexander Bermitrov, Victor Stahlberg, Scotty Upshaw, and Johan Larson. On the defense, we do have Dylan McElrath, Robert Bortuzzo, uh, Raspis Anderson, Ras Rasmus Anderson, uh, Yoki Paka, Hayden Flurry, and Thomas Kopecky playing some defense. And in the crease, we do have Malcolm Subban and Gubauer. And scratch, we have a bunch of AHL guys that would never be anything in this game. They may be decent in real life, but not in the game. So anyways, yep, this is the team we have. We're rolling with this team for sure. And yeah, basically, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I did look around the league. This team is nowhere near as good as some of the other teams out there. I'm talking about there's teams with two, three Hut Heroes. There's even teams that have like a Hut Hero, Crosby, and then like they have a Hut Hero, they have Crosby, and then they have like Phil Kessel. It's pretty stacked. There's teams out there that are like very, very good, like 89s on their second line, or their defense is all 88 plus. So. This is going to be very tough for us, but I feel like we sit where we are. Don't change anything, but don't do anything to not, like, don't mess with anything. It's going to be tough not to make any trades or anything, but we're going to definitely go, we're going to go to the trade deadline in this video. I'm going to try not to make any trades. I say we don't make any trades, we just ride out the season as it is and go from there. We could be a contending team. If we do contend, I say we're a wild card team that makes the playoffs. I want to be that contending team, but it's just the way the other teams look, it does not look like that. But you never know. We could be number one in the NHL. We could win the President's Trophy with this team. You never know. Let's get the simulation started here. Okay, first game will be against Calgary, and we will slow sim it if it stops the simulation. As I said, there we go. Okay, here we go. Sim game. Yes, here we go. Slow simulation, game one. Let's do this first period. Uh, Ryan Smith gets one, second period. Jeff Skinner gets one for us. And then in the third period, Nito Niederreiter, Jeff Skinner, and Nito Niederreiter gets another one. There we go, guys. That's exactly what I want to see. 4-1 victory against Calgary. I'm not worried at all. You know, and that that's pretty solid. That's some goal scoring from our first line right there. I think that all that goal scoring is from our first line, actually. It's kind of kind of worrying me but you know what it's fine i'm sure brendan gallagher will get some goal tallies going too. shootout win against carolina st louis blues shootout or uh, regulation that was a shutout my bad i said shootout first loss of the season comes from the buffalo sabers two nothing victory for them la kings 3-1 loss 4-2 loss to the ducks ottawa senators 3-1 victory uh and uh, uh, i know i'm and uh, edmonton i said edmonton and uh, Edmonton six nothing victory seven four against the Caps. Up next we have the Haves and we will beat them five two, but we lose to Ottawa Senators four one. So far we're a pretty good team it looks like. Uh, Utica is uh, eight and one by the way. Just note that eight and one Utica that's pretty good down there. Let's continue simulation. Let's just get the simulation done. Let's do this. Okay, Toronto. The Maple laughs. 4-1 victory. There we go. We're getting a lot of goal scoring going for us. That's exactly what I want to see. The one thing is about this franchise mode, you're going to see a lot of depth goal scoring. A lot of B 
big goal tallies for some skaters out there because of these hot heroes. Five, uh, 5-4 win in the shootout, and then a 3-1 win over the Rangers. Like Now we're against the Red Wings. We lose 4 nothing. Not surprised. Ten, it, we are 10-5-0. and five and zero. Uh, 4-3 win over the Dallas Stars. New York Rangers. 4-1 loss. Arizona Coyotes. 5-4 win. There we go. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks. We will lose them 5-3. Utica's 12-2-1. Arizona Coyotes up next. We are 12-7, by the way, and 0. Uh, our first shootout loss, look at that. So our first end of regulation loss. We were undefeated in the end of regulation for a while there. 3 nothing loss to the Stars. We dropped a few games in a row here. We make it up with a 2 nothing win over Colorado. There we go. That's exactly what I want to see from the team. I want to see some goal scoring like we do. Ooh, Brian Campbell for a second round pick to Minnesota. I'm going to decline that because we are definitely in a playoff spot right now. I will keep that in mind, though. Overtime win against uh, Minnesota Wild. 4 nothing win against Anaheim. How about that, guys? We are doing just wonderful right now. Let's slow some game against uh, Toronto because they look like they're about the same as us. We just played one more game than them. Let's show them that we're the better team. Here we go. Toronto Maple Leafs first period. They have Tyler Sagan second period. Soderberg and Garrison third period. Scott Mellonby and Colton Sissons. Okay. We didn't get a single goal in there. That was terrible. Come on, guys. Get it together. We're simulating very well, so I'm hoping I didn't just jinx us. Utica is 18-2-1. What a beast. They're a beast. Here we go. New Jersey Devils. 7-6 uh, shootout win. That's a high scoring game no we don't want to trade brian campbell i'm gonna take him off the trade block um tampa bay we beat them 4-2 this team is clicking all all cylinders right now um florida panthers we beat them 5-3 washington capitals we lose to them in the shootout but we got a point out of it so it's okay carolina 6-1 victory tampa bay up next we will not trade brian campbell to ottawa that's for sure Tampa Bay, we will beat them 5-3. Columbus Blue Jackets up next. Let's see what we do here. Uh, right after I call the scout. Tell them to go to the SHL to scout Timothy Lilligren for a month. And let's see here. Columbus, we beat them 3-2. Winnipeg up next. We do not want to trade Soupy. I don't know why everybody's offering us trades for him. 5-2 win over the Jets. Winnipeg, 4-3 loss. Calgary, 3-2 win. Uh, LA, 5-3 loss. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So, we're doing very good. 23-11-2. Uh, are we in, currently in a playoff spot? We are taking forever to load. Uh, we are. We sit... I think we're on top of the... Are we on top of the Pacific Division? I'll be able to tell when all the logos decide to load. I feel like my game is about to crash. We are. We are number one in the Pacific Division. We are going strong right now. This is exactly what I want to see. <laughs> we have no reason to trade anybody away. Look at that. What a what a record. Number three in the NHL. That's awesome. So there's no reason to get rid of anybody whatsoever. Nobody is leaving this team, basically. Let's check out the points. Trevor Lynn in 37 points in 36 games. Wow. That's awesome. Jack Eichel, 33 points in 36 games. 88 overall. He's a first liner. We should probably pop, uh, bump him up. But, you know, we're clicking. I'm sure he's okay with playing on the second line for now. I don't think it's going to affect him. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's affecting him. So, as long as he, as long as he does good, that's great. Um... You don't need a rider. This dude is a goal scorer. 11 goals. That's pretty good. 30 points. So this is the second liner. He's pretty sure he's on the first line next to Linden and Jeff Skinner. Go spare 30 points. Only three goals. I would expect for him to score more goals than that. You know, it's fine. He's 87 overall now. Uh, Jeff Skinner, only 12 goals. That's about where I put him. That's about where I put him in 36 games. Yeah, he only has 26 points. Soupy, there we go. 21 points in 36 games. Tanner Pearson, 20 and 36. Uh, Justin Williams, 20 and 36. Mark Letescu, 2, 19 and 36. Brendan Gallagher, 19 and 36. Uh, Sammy Votnin, 13. Ekblad, 12, 89 overall now. Still a top four defenseman. How about that? 
Uh, Riley Shahan, 12. Dwight King, Kyle Clifford, Michael Latta. And Michael Matheson hasn't scored a goal yet. He must barely be on the ice if he's only has three assists. That's crazy. He only has three assists. But he's a plus 13, so you can't complain. You can't complain when you're a plus 13. Uh, let's check out let's check out the crazy numbers down here. Look at this. Jay Peagle, 37 points in 29 games. Matt Cullen, uh, Michael Dow Cole, Ty Ratty, Quentin Howden, Josh Hosang, Johan Larson, Victor Stahlberg, Scotty Upshaw, Igeny Snechnikov, Nikita Sherbak, uh, Alexander Bermichtrov, Dylan McElrath, Robert Bortuzzo, Yoki Paka, Hayden Flurry, Thomas Kopecki. Anybody with no points, uh, Anderson only has two. So everybody down there is looks like they're a plus, too. So that's another great... Yeah, everybody down there is a plus. That's another great reason. That's another good reason to have this uh, stacked AHL team like this. Uh, Michael Del Cole, 75... Clint, uh, Ty Ratty, 879. Joshua Hosang, 72. Ryan Larson, 81. He's gotten a big boost. Uh, he was at 80 when we signed him. Uh, Igeny Snechnikov. Okay, nobody's like going down in overall. I see some people going up, so that's great to see. Anyways, let's swap back to the NHL. Our Utica Comics are doing great, by the way. They're 25, 2, and. What is it? 1 or 2? Uh, it's. Yeah, 25, 2, and 2. What a crazy record right there. Uh, I feel like the game's about to freeze, so let's just continue simulating up to the trade deadline. And I'll end the video there for you guys to make the call. I should have taken Supi off the trade off the trade block, but I'll do that at the All-Star game. Uh, Anaheim Ducks coming up here. Hopefully we can get another big Pacific Division win. Two back-to-back -back Pacific Division games. 5-3 victory over the Ducks. And I think we lost to Edmonton Oilers. But we beat... We beat uh, Colorado 5-4, and we lost to Arizona 2-1 in the shootout. We got the points out of both those games. We lost to Calgary 5-0 and then 3-0. So we haven't scored a goal since our game against Arizona. we got to break that. And we do in the shootout against the Predators. We're giving up some big points here against Pacific Division games uh, against Calgary and Arizona. So we got to get that back. 3-1 uh, win over uh, Capital, uh, Flyers. Sorry, Capitals. Sorry, Capitals fans. Sorry, Flyers fans. Um, we're not gonna trade Soupy. Get out of here. We refuse to trade Soupy. Uh, I do need to trade, take him off the trade block very soon because he's starting to get starting to get aggravating. Uh, OHL six weeks for forwards. New Jersey six three victory. Come on, guys. Come on. Nashville Predators three one loss. Come on, get it together. Uh, I want to see three in a row right here. Florida Panthers, we will beat them 3-1. to one. How about that? Chicago Blackhawks, we will lose to them 2-1. Okay. Minnesota Wild, no. I really need to take Soupy off my trade block. Uh, Colorado Avalanche, let's see here. Okay, back-to-back -back losses. Come on, guys. Get it together. Probably the worst month we've had all season so far is this month of January. Um, Come on, guys. Get it together. Get it together. Are we still on top of the Pacific Division? I feel like we're not. If it loads. Okay, this is taking forever to load. We are not on top of the Pacific. Actually, are we? I feel like we've dropped down a third. Is that us in third? If it loads, I'll be able to tell you. No, we're in second. Okay, I could have just looked on top. I'm, I'm not thinking right now. We're in second, so we do need to get it together, though, because... The Sharks and Edmonton, even Arizona still has a chance at this. And we cannot slip out of the playoffs. I would like to take home the Atlantic, or the Pacific Division. Even if we can't, I am going to take Soupy off the block. That way nobody keeps sending me trades for him, trading block. Edit trade block. And let's take Soupy off. And let's do... We will throw. What can we throw on here that we don't need? Let's throw draft picks. We throw another like third on there. Yeah, we throw another first. We we'll throw a first for 2019 as well. Boom. That way, maybe someone will send us something. Uh, let's see here. We want forwards, forwards, forwards. Maybe even a defender would be great too. Uh, that's great because he gained morale and it doesn't really matter. We don't need. We don't really need a fourth line. Guys, so maybe if we get like a third line defender, 
Uh, that'd be great. Like, top six guy. Maybe potential at least three and a half like that. Um, yeah, just like this. This is perfect. Just like this. Uh, someone, I mean, that's fine. We do medium potential. They gotta at least be like 24, they or 23, and at the highest, maybe 35. That way they can, they can retire a Stanley Cup champion. We'll see what we get. And hopefully we get something that we, we want. Like maybe like we get an older defenseman, like a Markov or... Something like that. Something we can use. I feel like we could use someone like that. And help get our young defense going. Even though we have two veterans on the defense. Brian Campbell and Tootin. But we have younger people like Michael Matheson, Aaron Eckblad, and uh, the Ghost Bear. So we do need to maintain the veteran presence on the defense. Okay, here we go. Let's continue simulation here. Utica is 33-7-3 by the way. In case any of you guys were worried about it. Tanner Pearson gained morale. Uh, I just took Soupy off the trade block. Why is everybody still sending me trades for him? 3-1 uh, loss to San Jose. Let's see here. It's pro probably because it says surplus of defensemen. Uh, another loss to Minnesota. Come on, we need to really package it together. 3-2 win against Nashville. Uh, let's see. Columbus, 5-4 overtime win. Boston... 4 nothing loss. Are you kidding me? 4-3 win against Buffalo. Uh, we have to get three in a row here. 4-2 loss. It seems like we just cannot win multiple games in a row. Like We'll get two in a row and then we'll lose like four straight. Okay. So we're basically at the trade deadline. I'm seeing like it's goal scoring. It's not even defense. It's just that like we stopped scoring a lot of goals. Uh, Calgary, 4-2 loss. Are you kidding? Are you guys? Come on. We've lost four straight. We're slow simming this game against San Jose. See if we notice a difference. I really hope we can make playoffs. And we're starting to drop valuable points here to get like Calgary, who's definitely ahead in the Pacific Division now because of that. Because their record compared to ours is so much better. We really need to do better. Here we go. San Jose's Sharks versus the Vancouver Canucks. Let's see if we can get this victory first period. Trevor Linden, second period. Kyle Clifford, third period. Brighton Gallagher of the Empty Netter. And we just completely smoked the Sharks. Three, two, zip. And just like that, we got one more game left before the trade deadline, and that's against the Detroit Red Wings. Hopefully we can beat them and win this game. Get a lot of points moving into the deadline. That would be perfect defenseman for six weeks. That would be uh, perfect. So here we go, Detroit Red Wings. Slow sim this game. First period, Alexander Steen. Second period. Steen and Bugstad, third period. Okay, they completely demolished us 5-1. Like, our team didn't even show up. That's what it felt like. Alright, guys, here we are at the trade deadline. And we're doing decent. I mean, we're second in the Pacific. Not, no, now we're third in the Pacific. That's not good at all. We're starting to drop down. We may end up... I don't even know if that's a wild card spot. I have to check the standings right now. Oh, uh, what's the wild card? It'd be in the central. Ooh. I'm pretty sure Chicago and St. Louis may have the wild card. Yeah, they're definitely going to take that wild card. Hmm. Ouch. So the wild card's 70 points. We need to get some games going here. We need to start winning more games. So, I was going to end the episode here and get your guys' feedback, but... I think the right thing to do is look for an older defenseman. So I'm going to look around before I end the video for you guys. And see if I can find like an older defenseman on the trade block. You know, just someone that's like here for a year and then they leave. Alright guys, I can't really find anybody. So I'm going to end the video here. I want you guys to comment if we should just ride with this team or make a move. Press the like button if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe. And always remember, Chocheck was true.